All right, so when I say Georgian food, what is the first thing you think of? Maybe, who's Georgia? Maybe, isn't that somewhere in the United States? But I'm in the Caucasus, in the country of Georgia, in the capital Tb Tbilisi, something like that. And I want to show you some Georgian food because of how exotic it is. I mean, especially from Australians so far away. So I want to explore, I want to show you Kachpuri and Kinkali. I'll show you what they mean, but there's a restaurant nearby for the hostel. And I want to show you what it's about because it's so different, so exotic up in the Caucasus. It's just something out of this world, I reckon, and it's so cheap. So here's Tbilisi. The back streets of it anyway, and I want to give you an idea of the food around here, a touch of the local lives, eh? So I'll let you know when we're back in the restaurant. Should not be too long now. I'll let you know what we're in for as well. So Georgian food, it's very meat heavy and it's very bread heavy. And cheese as well, lots of Georgian cheese up in the mountains. And the two dishes we're about to go for are exactly that, meat and cheese and bread. So, it should taste alright, however we are in Tbilisi, which is very touristy, so I don't know what to expect from this, but I'm hoping it'll be alright. Alright, so I've made it to the restaurant, and it is like a little hole in the wall. The restaurant is called Mapshalia, right? So I'm in Mapshalia, it's a little hole in the wall. It's a really... It's really cute actually, yeah. And I have ordered kachapuri and what they call chili cow. So none of the dumpling stuff today, however, it should be good. I think I've gotten really lucky as well because looking, you can't see. Looking at these prices, it goes from 4 lari, 350 lari, 5 lari for the really expensive meals. And 5 lari being about. Two, five lari, two fifty Australian dollars, and about half up. And you half the Australian dollar to the pound. So for about two Australian dollars, I'm getting a full meal here. I've read the reviews, and it seems to be quite authentically Georgian. You can see, no, you can't. It's backwards. So um, yeah, I've ordered the chili cow and the kachapuri. The kachapuri is really traditional. It's the bread dish of the dinner kind of thing. So I'm keen to see how that goes. It was only five lari, so two fifty Australian dollars. I have not found in Tbilisi anywhere in this city anything cheaper. Like everything's going for ten lari at cheapest, the cheapest dish on the cheapest menu. So to come here, it's a really big breath fresh air, Mapshalia. It's around the east of the city, and it is going to be really interesting to try this chili cow actually because I don't know how Georgians do with chili food. I don't think they do chili food so it's going to be interesting to see how chili it is for a start and to see how they cook the cow as well. I don't know if it's a soup or a stew but Georgian food tends to be quite hearty and it was only full lari being three Australian, two Australian dollars so when it comes I'll show you how that goes and then the bill should only be plus 10% under five Australian dollars so Georgia has been a real treat so far I've been able to go to restaurants and not worry about the price so yeah this should be a really good experience I've waited a bit long but it's a really small restaurant so I don't wait long assuming you can hear me at all I'll come out with the food the food's arrived we have kachapuri to start with which is a bread and cheese dish and then here's the chili cow now I'm sure there's a more Georgian name, but I don't know it. But we'll start with Kachapuri. Very hot. Alright, freshly cooked. But... Honestly, it tastes like bread and cheese. But it's pretty good bread and cheese, so I'm not mad. That's not the important part, because... With such bread and cheese... I only get so much out of it, right? I'm really interested in this chili cow here. Herbs mixed into it. I'm keen to find out how chili it is. I'll get some beef on the spoon. I 
can taste chilli, but it's not chilli. However, the meat's cooked right. I don't know how to describe the flavour. It's a very hearty soup type stew type thing. I can't really explain it to you, but here's a look again. It really just does taste like every ingredient there kind of thing, you know? Because you got your beef, you got your onion, and you got, I assume to be parsley or dill or something similar. But yeah, it really does just taste like that. That's the theme with a lot of Georgian food actually, is that there is nothing special to it. It's hearty, it's meaty, it's soupy, but it tastes good. It's simple and it's cheap, and it does taste good. So I'll finish this off, and then I think I'll go for a bit of a walk around Tbilisi. But yeah, there's nothing crazy about it, it's just good food. Very cheap as well, which is the best part. Alright, I just had an out of world experience. I wish I could have filmed that, but I'm not yet super comfortable with the camera. But when I was filming that food, there were three Georgian men, old Georgian men, and they were just laughing their heads off at me. They loved it, right? I don't know, probably the filming thing. One of them looking identical to Dr. Phil. But I finish recording and I start eating and I'm throwing chili on my food and they're laughing at me for everything. And then one of them invites me over for a cup of wine. So I take the cup of wine and I'm chatting to them and they teach, they teach me the Georgian word for cheers, which I've already forgotten. But <laughs> it, was, it was an experience. I was sitting there across from them and I'm going to cross the road real quick. Try to anyway. Sorry. Right, I'm across the road, so... The three Georgian men could not get enough of me. They were going, Australia, kangaroo! And all the typical stuff. It was brilliant. They kept offering me wine. I, I didn't want all that wine, but... I, I finished off the wine. I could not finish all my food though, I've got touch footy left over, which will do me well tomorrow, but I could not finish off all of it food. It was um, good food though, I enjoyed it, I'm glad. The Georgian men made it such a spectacle, everybody in the restaurant was staring at us, the waitresses were smiling at me afterwards, but <laughs> it only costed like 10 lari. Absolutely cheap, five Australian dollars, two and a half pound. And those Georgian men, absolutely champions, so friendly. Constantly looking over at me and laughing because of what a goof I looked like, I reckon. Laughing at me when I put chili on my food and then when I couldn't finish my food. But, fuck, so, all that chili still, I threw like all the chili they had on there, so. For such a cheap dinner, and for such friendly locals, especially one of them looking like Dr. Phil, that was probably the best value food I've had so far. And just as I exited, two, just as I exited, two friends I met in, um, I forgot the name, Kiatura, Kiatura the Kutaisi. Two friends I met in Kutaisi were just entering the restaurant, so I told them to say hi for the Georgian men, you know. <laughs> but just small experiences like that, you know, you know, if I was at home sitting on my computer, hanging out with my mates, would I have talked with old Georgian men learning the word for cheese? Like it's small stuff like that that makes the adventure I reckon. So I'm gonna head back to the hostel now. And they said they were going out for the night. I don't know if I will meet them whether I have the energy or the ability, because neither of us have a SIM card. But, they're going to go out to eat. I'm going to drop my stuff off. But I'm glad I went out. That was a memorable night. Just interactions with the locals, you know. Because I find the Georgian people, it's quite confusing. Because on one hand, they're very closed off. They don't smile at you when you walk by them. They don't want anything to do with you. I'll ask you if you speak English, and they'll just nervously look at you kind of thing so I don't know what it is but then you have interactions like these where these men are reaching out to me especially Dr. Phil over there Georgian Dr. Phil <laughs> um, asking if I spoke Russian introducing himself and his two other old Georgian mates having dinner at the table full of wine you know it's just something else you know <laughs> 
I love that at such an age I'm able to experience all this. <laughs> it really does shine a light on Tbilisi as well because Tbilisi, being the capital, it doesn't live up to the rest of Georgia. It is more just for living unless you're trying to go get drunk, which I'm not because I'm trying to save my money. However, the rest of Georgia is beautiful. The taxi drivers don't care about life, their life or yours. They'll go 80 down a two-lane winding hill across here. And then the people can be so kind when they want to be so closed off otherwise. And the food's so cheap, everything's so cheap. You'll get ripped off when they see they have the chance to. The taxi driver tried to make me pay 50 lari for what should have been a 6 lari ride. So I paid him 20 because I was tired and recovering from food poisoning. But um, it is such a unique country. To come all the way from Australia to be walking around the streets here, it is something else. But I don't think I filmed the food, I don't think I filmed the food too well. But just to look at it and get a quick description of what Georgian food is, I think was all right. The chili cow ended up being really delicious. I put too much chili on it, not making it spicy, but the flavor of the chili rather became too much. So mistake on my half. Kachapuri was just cheese and bread. In hindsight, I should not have ordered that and just stuck with the one meal, but yeah, that's about it. It was an experience. An experience for sure. So, I think that'll end it for the night. But, maybe in the future I'll be able to show more Georgian food. But otherwise, I think that's it for now.